<laughs> You're thrilled. Yes, oh yes. About me rejoining your family. Yeah, why wouldn't I be? <laughs> because you can't stand me? <laughs> no, no, couldn't stand you, that past tense. I know I was uh, hard on you at first. At, at first? first. <laughs> well, maybe for a good while after that, but uh, listen carefully because I don't say this often, but um, I was wrong. Is it just me? No, no, wait. Three, two, one. You're not the gold-digging piece of trash I thought you were. And we're back. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you're a bright, beautiful woman, a triple threat. A wonderful daughter, a mother, and soon-to-be wife. And I am so sorry that it took me so long to see that. So, you and uh, J.R. here, I am in awe of you, finding your way back to each other after all that time. It's uh, never given it up. I couldn't be more proud in calling you my daughter-in-law. <laughs> okay, okay. On that, I, uh, I really, I gotta get out of <laughs> you here. You really gotta get out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. I gotta see a guy about a thing. Yeah, well, hurry up. <laughs> Come here, you. Oh, yeah. So, where will you have the wedding? Yeah, let's uh, get down to the nitty-gritty here. Yeah, I was hoping we could have it right here. Yeah, well, you know, I haven't officially chose a place, but yeah, I was thinking right here at home. Yeah, it's definitely at the top of the list, and thank you for the offer, Adam. But, um, you know what, I'm running late. I've, I've got to go to Fusion. Uh, big day? Bella's debut. If it catches on with the press and buyers, we could really have something. Well, I got my fingers and my toes crossed for you. <laughs> well, good luck. I hope it uh, turns out smoothly for you. Thank you, Adam. Me too. So I'll see you later. Mm -hmm. You bet you will. We have a wedding to plan. That's right. <laughs> All right. I'll walk out with you, babe. Oh, Mama? Huh? Oh, no, you go ahead. I got to get little A ready for the sleepover with Kathy. Come on, Peanut. Let's go. Come on. <laughs> well, spit it out. What the hell are you trying to pull? <laughs> I need you to pull out all the stops on this one because it's for a very special girl. No, she has no idea. Do you know when they're going to be ready? Perfect. I'll pop by this afternoon then. Thanks. Well, darling, it's official. <clears throat> Either Adam Chandler has had a lobotomy, or it's time to trade in your car for flying pig. You care to explain? Nope. it not take too long. In a nutshell, reality as I know it has just come off the rails. Oh, well, this will be the perfect time to give you the news then. Why, what is it? I located Jesse's phone records just like you asked. And? Doesn't look good. Frankie acts like this in court, we got problems. Frankie knows better than to go off in front of a judge. Well, I thought Frankie knew better than to drive drunk. You know what? This is no joke. He could go to jail. Well, maybe that's not such a bad thing. At least he wouldn't have to go back to Iraq. Yes, that's right. At least we would know that he's safe. Baby. A jail is not a place you want your child to be. Well, neither is war. But apparently, I, I don't get a say in the matter. Well, he's the one to sign the contract. But he can get out of it. There are ways, Jesse. Options. Well, obviously, he passed on his options. He don't want any well, options. Of course he does. Now, you saw him in here acting out, not being himself. You, you, you think Frankie wants to die? Going back to Iraq doesn't necessarily mean... A death sentence. Well, it's too close for me, and I can't go through it again. He has made his decision, and as hard as it might be, we have to accept it. Well, what if I can't accept it? Aren't you going to answer that? I can wait. Well, it might be important. Not as important as this is. Hello? Who is this? What is with this sudden love fest with Babe? 
Is this really so difficult to understand? She's going to be a Chandler again. She's going to be part of this family. Yes. Something that would have drove you crazy just weeks ago. But now you want to be our wedding planner? I finally understand what you see in Babe. D didn't you hear what I said? Oh, I, I heard you. I just don't believe you. You hate Babe just as much as ever. No. That is not true. And the last thing you want for us is to get married. So why don't you just admit it? And then we can take it from there. Here it is again, block number. Whoever it is has been calling Jesse's cell phone a lot. Yeah, and his house phone too. And most of the calls only last a few seconds. You know, the hang-ups maybe, but not all of them look. A few conversations definitely took place. And they all lasted about the same amount of time. Short and sweet. It's like they needed to speak, but they didn't want to be on the phone for too long. Listen, check out these outgoing calls here. You know, okay, now wait a minute, which, 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 which phone is this? This is Jesse's cell. He must have been calling the block number. Well, how do you know that? You can't what? be sure that. It's a block number. It could be any block number. How do you know the one in the same? It's a big coincidence if it's not. <laughs> Whoever this phantom caller is, doing a lot more frequently lately. Listen. Don't say it. Tad, it's a pattern that we've seen before. Yeah, well, that doesn't necessarily mean that Jesse's out. No, I know you don't want to go there, but it's possible, okay, that Jesse could be having an affair. Another hang-up. So? So, we've been inundated with them. Well, now I'm to blame because somebody's calling my phone and hanging up? Who is it, Jesse? You looked at the phone and you decided not to answer it. Because I thought this conversation was a little more important. Then why look at the phone at all? Could have been an emergency. It was an anonymous call. There was no number. How would you know that it wasn't an emergency? Well, because it wasn't the mayor. It wasn't Frankie. It wasn't one of my top people. That's how I knew. Who was it, Jesse? I couldn't tell you. I think you could. Whoever this mysterious person is and keeps hanging up, I think you know very well who it is and you're just not telling me. You know, why, what, is this, why are you tripping like this? Because I am scared, all right? I am standing here and I'm telling you I'm terrified. Of what? Of losing you. Of losing Frank. I've already lost Cass. I tell you, I'm, 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 st I'm, I'm starting to feel like I'm losing my family all over again. Your paranoia is getting the best of you, son. No, I'm not paranoid. I know you, Dad. I know what family means to you. I know what the Chandler name means to you. Any unworthy addition to our family is your worst nightmare. Are you calling Babe unworthy? No. That was you from the second you laid eyes on her. Oh. Listen, I have acknowledged some changes in Babe. That's all. I know what's going on. Our plan to take Fusion away from Greenlee and Kendall, but you want to take it away from Babe, too. Now you are delusional. No, I know I'm right. You build Babe up. You make her think that she's got your approval, when really, the plan is to pull the whole thing out from under her. Out from under us. Why can't you understand that I'm on Babe's side? And your side? Ahem. We are back. Want to keep it down a notch? Little A wanted to say goodbye to his daddy before we left. Yeah. Party. What? Party, yes. A, uh, an engagement party for you and Babe, here. You want to throw them an engagement party? Yes, yes. Invite anybody you want. You know, a family, friends, Tad, of course. Now you're really scaring me. Why? With you and Babe getting married, it would make our families officially united. Hmm? It'd make perfect sense we'd get together. And uh, celebrate it? <laughs> Perfect sense to you, maybe. <laughs> what do you think, Little A? Would you like to have a party? Yes. Yes! Okay, it's settled. Oh, what about tomorrow? Hmm? <sighs> Too soon? Sooner the better. Well, I mean, it's just, just a party. What could be so bad about that, right? Is that a trick question? Look, 
JR, you and Babe deserve this. You need a chance to breathe and to laugh and to kick up your heels, right? Don't you worry, we'll keep Adam in line. What are you doing here? We need to talk. Frankie, I'm at work. It's important. Whatever, just go.